Good afternoon, everybody, and here we are at Canadian Warplane Heritage. It's our media day for 424 City Hamilton Tiger Squadron. And as you can see right here, we have uh, the Griffin coming in. And then just above them, you can see the uh, contrails of smoke. There's a C-130 Hercules coming in. And uh, Colonel Bernier, are they going to be doing the uh, jump right away? I don't know. I didn't even know they were coming <laughs> there, there you go. They happen to, happen to be in the area of training, which is always, always great. So uh, there we go right there. We, we might, get, might get lucky. Are they up there? Yeah, the streamers. Oh, there they are. They're just assessing the wind. So that's the first part. Yeah, so they're watching where these land. Right. To determine how much, how far up they need to jump out of the aircraft. Okay. Once they know where these guys land, they're going to go back down the line. Thank you. So I don't know if you can uh, see that. Yep, there they are. So those streamers, as Colonel Bernier was saying, it, uh, it gives them an idea of the winds and how strong they are so that they can uh, then uh, figure out exactly where their jump out point will, will be. Is that pretty much, pretty much good? Did I get that one right? My prediction is they're going to fly that way and they're yeah. going to come over streamers over target. Yeah, cool. One drop. There you go, right, right in Cargill Jets parking lot. So they just got a couple little, little souvenirs over there. 
We can get those later. <laughs> You get one? Yeah. Okay. Well, that used to be all farmland until just a little while ago. So. You just missed it. Jump onto the ramp here, actually. Yeah, um, this thing, here? yeah they're gonna. Oh. They just, they just, I, I, this, this guy was telling me they just shot out some streamers, okay. and they drifted, the, I don't know, a few miles that way. So now they'll drop them off wind. And, um, so yeah. They assess the wind. Uh, they're gonna drop them off wind, and then they're gonna try to drop them right onto the ramp here. So, Colonel really cool. Bernier, what do you, what do you, what do you think? They're gonna. Oh, come on. We're gonna jump. Judging from what they just did, I suppose they will be yeah. jumping uh, some Sartex down. Excellent. I want to wait, and then I'll. And um, the important thing is, as uh, Captain Parker was saying on uh, CHML with Bill Kelly this morning, is that uh, this is a very, very important part of their training um, to constantly stay uh, at the top of their game. So when when a call comes out that. Uh, they're, they're yeah, good well, to go. Really so, yes. you will probably see I say about now. There they go. One, two. There you go. So, now what they'll do is uh, they'll come over here and So the first SAR attack, he's, he's coming in a lot quicker. The other one's catching the ride. What, Colonel Bernier, what are they doing as far as uh, knots? Right now? Typical on a descent, yeah. I, they have a forward speed, I think of about 12 knots. There you go. But uh, obviously, the wind's going to affect that a lot. Yeah. Yeah. This is uh, all about feel. All about feel. Oh, look at this. Wow. You see him making the little adjustments. Look at that. Hey! <laughs> Incredible. Wow. That is that is something else. Okay, going to get it on the ground. Okay. That's uh, great to see all the uh, citizens here, seeing how uh, Sartex are actually, how they do their job. And uh, there's the Herc there in the distance, so. You think two more there, uh, Colonel Bernier? Depends who they have on board. Yeah, yeah. If they have extra Sartex. Yeah. Yeah. 
so um, my thinking is that he will be doing two more. He's not lining up uh, in, in, in the circuit to land with the, the winds in that today, so I, uh, that's, that's kind of my uh, thinking right there. So, um, captains, what are they? What are they doing right now, uh, speed-wise and such? Speed-wise, down on the work. Yeah. Uh, they're going to be close to 135 knots. Yeah. Uh, because they have to go open, and I'm not sure if they're putting out another two jumpers. Okay. My guess. No idea, but, uh, My guess is yes. <laughs> yeah, they're definitely going slow because the door is yeah. open and all that. So, so uh, how much uh, flap would they be running right now? 50 flaps. 50 flaps. Yeah. yeah, 50 yeah. Flaps. Wow. Well, you could kind of tell. You, you could kind of tell. Oh, there's a little bit of rain. Yeah, this so, plane is excellent, not because it goes fast and far, but because uh -oh. it goes slow. Yeah, yeah. Because that's what you needed to know to do: is go slow and switch the right. Now, what is what is full flaps on the Herc? Uh, full flaps are percent means that uh, the motors are fully engaged. Yeah. Flaps are down, like barn doors. What so percentage, percentage is it? Can you do? One hundred percent. Oh, one hundred. Yeah. So we say fifty is the okay. Percentage. There we go. Okay. So, he'll probably uh, join the circuit here and I'm guessing landing on 2-4 with the winds? What do we think here? Most likely. Yeah. yeah. So, cable 14 is here. Look at that. <laughs> I think we just made that little guy's day there. So. That's it from uh, Warplane Air for now.